Please be seated. <clears throat> While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. Can you imagine walking along the street on your way home or on your way to work or on your way to the park involved in your thoughts, possible worries, and suddenly as you walk, Jesus start walking by your side and having a conversation with you. Or imagine that Jesus suddenly gets on the same bus, train, or plane, like any other passengers, and sits next to you and start interacting with you. I wonder, would you recognize him? I wonder what your reaction would be if you knew that it was Jesus. Would you recognize him? To be honest, at first instance, I will tell you that probably it will be very difficult for me to recognize him. In the gospel that we just heard today, we see that the appearance of Jesus to the two disciples happened on the same day that Jesus rose from the dead. These two disciples were going to Emmaus. Uh, the Greek pronunciation should be Emmaus. Depends what you pronounce, but I'm trying to do Emmaus to the close to the English pronunciation. So these two disciples were going to Emmaus, and aside from the basic facts, we don't know anything about them. The only thing we know in this gospel is that these two disciples were probably still sad, very sad, without hope, talking and discussing the terrible things that happened in Jerusalem, probably discussing the horrible death that Jesus, their leader and teacher, had just suffered three days before. And the interesting thing here is that we don't know the reason why the disciples were going to Emmaus. We don't know that. Luke, the gospel writer, does not say why they were going there. They may have been going home, going there to rest, or just going there to get away from the terrible things that they witnessed in Jerusalem. We will never know. And today, even if the scriptures tell us that Emmaus was 60 stadia from Jerusalem, which is a Roman measure equivalent to seven miles of distance, there is no consensus of the exact location of Emmaus. No consensus. So, what is the significance of going to Emmaus then? What is the meaning of this place? 
I will say Emmaus, as one commentary points out, could be the place where we go in order to escape. The place we go to get away. Emmaus could be the place where we go when we are so tired. And the place we go when we have lost hope. The place we go when we are in the state of uncertainty and doubt. And I would say that Emmaus could be also the liminal space. The place we go when we are in the void. In the void. And being in the void can last for hours, days, or even months. When we enter the void, it is a time when we leave behind all that is familiar, familiar structures, relationships, thoughts, and places. In the void, we may feel that our life is changing rapidly. We may know that something new is coming but in the present time, all foundations are falling away, leaving us nothing solid to hang on to. And this is not a comfortable place for us to be. Many of us probably are familiar with this place of transition, a time of waiting and not yet knowing what is coming. This is the void because we are at the intersection of many possible futures. But you know what? It is in those moments of escape when we had lost hope when we are in the void, that Jesus decides to interrupt us. It is in those moments when we have our backs packed, ready to disappear, that Jesus decides to interrupt us. This is what happened to the disciples. And during this interruption, paradoxically, Emmaus, the place of escape, becomes a place of divine encounter. The place where we meet the risen Christ. Where we can open ourselves into new possibilities. Emmaus is also the place where the risen Christ come to us. Where the risen Christ walks alongside of us. And this is the good news of this gospel. Jesus always come to our encounter when we least expect it. And he is with us when we least can sense him or see him. Jesus will appear in unexpected ways and in unexpected people, which sometimes keeps our eyes from recognizing him. And he comes to our encounter and interrupts us as we walk toward home, 
to the bus, to the train, to the plane, in the streets, in the supermarket, in the places where we least expect him. Let me tell you one story. One time, I was in one of my favorite Mexican restaurants in Seattle for Taco Tuesday. <laughs> it was $1.50 per taco. Very good, I recommend it. So, as, as I was leaving the place at night, it was raining. And I saw a man standing outside. He was sitting in the corner outside the restaurant, covering himself from the rain. This man was clearly in need. It seems to me that he was living on the street and he asked me for money. In that moment, I continued walking toward my car without paying attention to his demand, basically ignoring him. When I reached the parking lot by my car, realizing my lack of compassion, something made me return to see this person. I took a cliff bar from my box, from the box in my trunk. I always carry clip bags, clip bars in my trunk. And I went back. I gave him the clip bar and asked him if he was hungry. He said, yes. So I went again into the restaurant and asked my friend, the owner, if I could buy some food for the person outside. The owner gave me food for this person without charging me. When I went outside again, I gave the food to this person and I said to him, eat this while it is still hot. It is better like that. He took the food. What took me by surprise was the question that he asked me after that. He said, do you know Jesus Christ? Do you know Jesus Christ? Wow. I, I cannot describe that moment with my own words. This encounter was somehow unique and profound. I was so grateful that I returned to see this person. Clearly for me, at that moment, through my own lenses, was an encounter with the divine. I never asked this person his name. It was a brief encounter. So as I was living in the middle of the rain, I said to him, you take care. You take care. And he responded, no. You go and care. You go and care. If I had not returned to see this person and serve him, I would have missed a great opportunity. Just the meaning of Emmaus is that Jesus is always present. And Jesus appeared in unexpected ways and in unexpected people. We sometimes keep our eyes from recognizing him. Any act of kindness, any act of hospitality always carries the element of surprise. Surprise to the unknown, surprise to discover God among us. 
surprised to discover God in our midst. And this is what I experienced at that moment. And I tell you this story because the experience of the presence of God is not a private reward. It is not only for ourselves. It is never for us alone. It is for us to share. It's for us to share. This is what the two disciples of Emmaus did after their encounter. They went and shared with the other disciples their encounter with the risen Christ. The same happened to Mary Magdalene after her encounter in the garden. She went and shared her experience with the risen Christ with the other disciples. William Countryman, an Episcopal priest and writer, said that the process, the process of telling our own faith stories allow us to articulate the important moments in our lives where we have encountered the hidden holy, the hidden holy, and received light from it. Because there is no human experiences of stories that had not been touched but God. Yes. God's presence can be seen in ordinary life, in the mundane. And we do not have to wait for the supernatural apparitions to be aware of God's presence. So I wonder, what kind of stories or any encounter with the divine can you share? I wonder. If you do not remember any story at this time, you can create one. It's easy. Really. It only requires your awareness. It only requires to be aware. So I wonder again, what is happening around you at this time? Is there an encounter that you're missing? Is there an encounter that you fail to see? When we are in sorrow, when we are in a crisis, when we are in a time of profound transition, we may be so distracted that we may not notice that this is the time, the very moment when the divine can enter and walk with us. The meaning of Emmaus is that Jesus is present. The risen Christ is walking with us even if we do not see him or recognize him. So, my prayer for today is that with God's help, we can be able to recognize that the divine is always at our side. That the resurrected Christ is always walking with and among us. This is the good news that this gospel proclaims. Amen.